You've seen her in the hit TV show, Home Economics, but she's using her platform to help so many lives around her through her philanthropic efforts. Joining us now is actress Jordan Curet. Jordan, thank you so much for joining us on Live in the Bay. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Jordan, we have to talk about Home Economics, which people can watch here on Hulu. So what what is what is it that people can expect when they tune into the show and see you on there? Yeah, I mean, they can expect a lot of funny episodes. It's about uh, three siblings, different financial incomes, and they're really trying to navigate their way around, you know, their, their life. And they all definitely have three different personalities, so that's pretty funny. And, uh, yeah, it's a funny show. It's about family and sticking together and how they can come together, you know? <laughs> well, speaking of personalities, it sounds like there's a lot of other kids that are on this set. What's it like being able to work with kids that are around the same age as you? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, I, I also have school with them in the morning whenever I'm on set. Oh, so, really? You know, we get to learn together, um, and it's nice having friends there, too. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of school, it must be tough sometimes to have to balance your career at such a young age as well as school. So how do you do it? Yeah, I balance school. It's actually... It's pretty easy for me because uh, I've just learned to work around uh, my schedule. I mean, got to get school done somehow, so <laughs> I make sure to take out some time in my day. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I have amazing parents, and they always make sure to keep me on top of school and also give me a break for my just balancing my normal life, too. But, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I really appreciate them, and I've learned to balance it that way. Oh, it's pretty impressive that you, you're able to do it so well and so calmly, so good for you Thank on you. that aspect. But besides being an actress, you're a very talented young lady. You are also a singer. Can you talk a little bit about your singing career? <laughs> yeah, um, I started singing at around age, I let's say age five, I started doing some musicals, uh, just like, you know, little kid musicals, but they, it was lots of fun. And um, I eventually wanted to write my first song, so I wrote it, and um, it, it's an original song. I made it with one of my good friends, Simon, and uh, I, I released it, and it's called Lift Me Up. It's available on all platforms, but it's just a fun song I wrote when I was like seven. So <laughs> if you want to listen to it, sure, go watch, go listen to it. <laughs> You're like, it's casual. Go listen to it if you want. It's out there. Well, that's pretty cool. You So you sing. You're an actress. When you first got your big break in Hollywood, what was that feeling? like for you? I was freaking out when I like booked uh, Home Economics because that was such a big role and I would been working up to it forever and I was just freaking out when I got it. I felt so grateful. It was kind of like a full, full circle moment, you know? Mm -hmm. I was just um, very grateful and I was honored that I got to be a part of it. I got to be a part of a cast and that, that that cast is amazing. I absolutely adore all of them and I'm so grateful that I get to work with them on set. Mm, well, what kind of work went into preparing for a role like that you have with Home Economics? <laughs> yeah, I mean, preparing <laughs> for it was more mentally because I was still kind of starstruck to be working with the cast. Like whenever I would see my castmates on like on the first few days, I would just be like, "Oh, hi." <laughs> I would just be like kind of frozen and they're like, are you okay? I'm like, no, I'm fine. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I um, definitely needed to mentally prepare myself. But also um, preparing for Shamaya, I mean, she's a really sweet, uh, awesome character. And I love that she loves her family and her moms. And um, I also love how she's starting to turn into a little bit more of a teenager. And she's starting to want to be a little bit more independent. So, you know, not too much preparing because I kind of also want to be independent now that I'm a teenager. <laughs> so. Watch out, mom. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you said your character, she's sweet. She's, you know, transitioning into her teens. Kind of sounds a lot like you. Do you see a lot of yourself in your character? Oh, definitely. Shamaya is a lot like me. I mean, she loves her family and she loves her parents and she's very sweet, but she's sometimes a little bit sassy and oh, a little sassy. bit quirky, <laughs> you know? But uh, yeah, I think that 
she's a lot like me. <laughs> well, that's good. So now that you have established yourself in Hollywood, you're using your platform to give back to others. You have a nonprofit called Jordan's Joy. Tell us a little bit about what it's all about and how you give back. Yeah, uh, I use Jordan's Joy. It's a nonprofit organization where um, I do toy drives for people in need, and uh, I, I'm really grateful that I get to use my platform for um, organizations like that because I feel like that's really important, especially in these times, you know? So uh, I, I've already... I mean, I started doing toy drives when I was three because my mom really taught me to give back and mm -hmm. she would always do toy drives at my birthday parties or if I was just, you know, doing a party, just doing a party. So uh, I, I'm really grateful that I got taught that and um, I love using my platform like that because it's really important. Mm -hmm. it, it is important to give back and it's so amazing to hear such a young lady talk about you know family you're grateful your mother has you know done you said you learned so much from your mom that's so awesome now I have to ask you if there are kids out there who are like you who want to accomplish dreams of becoming an actor actress singer what piece of advice would you give them? I'd make sure to give them the advice that if you really have a passion for what you want to do, um, go for it. Because, you know, if, if you have a feeling that you're like, this was made for me, I was made for acting, and, you know, some, uh, I feel like if you are humble and stay humble and you have a passion, then I think acting is truly for you and you should go for it. I mean, a lot of people ask me, well, how should I tell my parents that I want to act at at a young age, and I'm like, uh, well, I told my parents by just tell, showing them a Disney Channel show and being like, oh, I need, I need, I need to be on a show like that. And so <laughs> I was, I, I think, I think that's, that's, that's how I told my parents. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's actually pretty easy. Like, it was, I feel like it, a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, that's way too scary. I'm not doing that. But, um, it's, it's actually once you tell them and you show them that you have a passion for it, it can be way easier than you think. Well, congratulations on all of your success, and we can't wait to support you in home economics. Thank you so much for joining us, Jordan. Thank you so much.